So I'm going to um, show you how to navigate um, this new system. Do you understand? So that's what I'm going to do today. So, um, but before I start, please kindly like this video, subscribe, and also try as much as possible to leave a comment, no matter how small the comment is. So now, what we are going to do today now is, okay, look at this. This face is what we call um, instructor account. I get to me, this is what we call instructor account. Now, you see this second face is what we call student account. Now, I'm going to be giving you two logins. Two logins, that's what you're going to be using now. Are you getting me? So, before this instructor account, we can use it to generate our plagiarism score and our AI score. Now, if you're familiar with this face, you should already know what it entails when you log in. Now, I'm going to log in and I'm going to show you the interface. Now, if you don't know how the former interface is, you can see my YouTube video. It's on the video on the previous interface. But currently, this is what we have. These are the only two sections we have. Now, as it says, it said AI report retriever. Now, what this retriever means is that you're going to retrieve this AI report from the student account. Like I said, I would send you the password to log into this particular account. Well, first of all, let me explain to you what these old things mean. Now, once you log into this section, this is what you're going to see. Now, take note. Look at this section over here. This section over here. This section over here. It says student account. Now, to make sure that you're doing the right thing, make sure that this student account is showing your own username. Now, when I mean username, it means the name of the account. <laughs> You log into these pages, hyperproject.com. That is the name it's supposed to reflect. Now, this name that is going to show here, make sure that it's still going to be the same name that is going to show in your student account because you're going to be retrieving your AI results from that account. Are you getting me? Now, like I told you, I will send you the login for this place. Now, once you log in, this is what you're going to do. Now, once you log in, let me reload this section again so that I will show you what it's supposed to show. Now, this is it. So, once you log in, I will show you how to um, submit your paper and um, get your reports. Now, once you log in, this is the face you're going to see. Now, if you're familiar using student account, this will not be difficult for you. But in case you're new, that's why I'm doing this video. So, you click on Dictate. Now, once you click on Dictate, you see so many options here. You can click any option. Either you can click Dictate 17, any one you like. So let's assume you're going to click on this. Open. Now, when we click on this, we're going to open it. We're going to wait, let it load. Are you getting me? We're going to wait, let it load. Now, once it's finished loading, now this is it. You already know how to do this process. You drag and drop your file here. Let's pick an example. Let's say we're using this particular file. For example, we drag it and we put it here. Are you getting me? The next thing we're going to do is upload. And once we are here, we will wait until it shows option for you to do what? Submit. I get him until it shows options for you to do what? Submit. It's as simple as that. I get him. So once it shows option for you to submit, then you can click the submit. This document you're submitting over here, this is where, like you, as you can see, look at it, it's click submit. I, can, I see it now. Your file is processing. As you can see, now look at it. It is reading here. Now, remember now, this is only similarity report that you can get in this place. To get your AI report, we have to log into this section. I get it. Now, let's even go back. Let's go back, for example. Like I said, you can click any one. Let's submit another document. Let's submit another document so you can be familiar with the face. Now, this is 
Right-click in on another option. Right-click in on another option. Now let's submit another document just in case. Are you getting me? Just in case. Now let's submit this document. For example, we drag, drop it here. As you can see, upload. Are you getting me? So this is how, if you want to generate your similarity reports, this part is a very easy part for you to do. Are you getting me? Now let's now dive into how you can generate your AI report. Now this part is going to be a longer process. Are you getting me? I don't know. I, I just hope that Tonitin is going to find a better way for this process. You click on submit. Are you getting me? Tonitin is going to find a better way for this whole process because this is like a very, very long process. But then let's wait for it to finish loading. Once it's finished loading, I will show you how you can then use this method to check your AI reports. As you can see, your file was submitted successfully. Now it's processing. As you can see, processing. So you wait. At times, if you want, you can reload the page again to make it faster if you want, or you can just stay put and wait for it to load, depending on anyone that is okay with you. Are you getting me? So now look at it, it's still processing. So you just have to wait. Now, as we're waiting for that, to, for us to generate our AI report here, we need two things from this student account. First thing we need is the document OID and assignment name. Now, if you come here now, find OID. When you click on it, you can see the instructions here. It's telling you to get this last here. That is what you need. I get it. That is what you need. You get it from your student account. And if you come here again, it says, if you click on this one now, it said, that's it. Also, that's our, our directions on how you can get those information. Let's come back to this page here and let's try and reload and let's see if the report is ready. Are you getting me? So, the only two things we now we need for this, this and this. Once we pick these two things, we click on get AI reports. That's the only two things we need. I get them. So, I'm going to show you how you can get these two things and these two information. So, now let's come back here and let's wait for it to come up so that I can download the report. Now, first thing first is, like I told you, we need two things. But the first is assignment name and document OID. Now, if you come here, this is your assignment name, dictate 13. You copy it, you come here, you paste it under assignment name. Then you come here. Yeah, in this section, you click on it to view the document. I get to me to view the document. Now, there's something else I want to show you in this section. Is is a new face. Are you getting me? It's a new face. Now, if you look at this part now, the AI report here is 21%. Now, the reason why it is 21% is because you've not excluded your references and some other places. So now, when you're going, I'll show you how you can exclude those information. But before I do that, like I said, this is what we need now. This section, and they've told us how to get it in the chair. Now look at it here. Once you come here, look at this top here. Look at it here. This, this is the number we need. This is only, look at what I'm copying you. Only this number we need. You copy it. Then you come here. Then you click on this section. I see it now. We click on this section. Once we click on this section, the next thing we're going to click on is, as you can see, it has already shown that you click get AI report. Error. Are you getting me? So make sure that whatever it is you're putting here is the correct thing. Do you understand me? Make sure that whatever it is you're putting here is the correct thing. As you can see,
Let's just wait. Let me finish. We need this place, this number, this number here. Look at it. Make sure that you are viewing the document first to this number here. And like I said, this is the other section. These are the only two things we need for us to generate the report. How to um, exclude references from your workbook. So, references and all, you come here, you click filter, you see, you click this, you click this, then you come here, in this down section here, you click apply. Once you apply, you will see that, look at it, similarity report, 0%. So make sure that these two sections are always clicked when you're doing it. Then once you're done, this is where you download the report here. You download the report here. And that is it. So that is everything about this. So hey John, you can just kindly send me a DM for more questions. But I believe that with this, it is very, very explained for you to understand. And I hope to see you in any other videos again.